Hi friends, welcome back to week three of our blog class with our guest designer, Shanna Vineyard. Hello. We've been, we're having so much fun with her here. And I think I failed to mention before her blog so that you could all go visit her and give her some love. Her blog address is www.artmadewithheart.blogspot.com. That's right. All spelled out. You got it. Art Made With Heart. Um, so go check it out. She has so much, so much fun stuff. Is that how you say it? Anyway, it's a fun blog, so go there and check it out. <laughs> um, so we'll get started with our um, next few pages. Okay. We are back, and I'm going to go ahead with page six. I skipped um, putting anything at all on this cute compass page because I just couldn't bear to cover it up with anything. I think it's just a cute detail, so I left it alone. So I flipped it over, and we're going to work on this yellow page. I cut this cute die cut out of the cutout. cutout sheet and sanded the edges and this page is going to go super fast because it's super easy. That's what I'm using to kind of cover the paper. And it's okay if the paper comes off the edge a little bit. Cute. And then we've got the cardstock sticker the adventure arrow with some pop dots on the back to add dimension. Just layer it there. And the cute little trinket from the Camp Lot trinket set. I've tied up some dark brown hemp in there. And let's go ahead and add it using a glue dot. And there you are. Cute. Easy page for space for a photo or journaling. Fun stuff. I like it. All right, on to page seven. The cute little camping hat. Here's what this guy looks like. You can see that. The paw print paper. Just go ahead and cut a three inch by three and a half sheet of that. Sand the edges if you want. Adhere that one to the left side of the hat so that you don't cover up the whole thing. I love these printed chipboard pages. It's hard to put anything on top of it so it gets covered up, but there we go. Just lay that down. And then this cute, cute dimensional sticker Welcome campers. Love the glitter on the banner. And that one you can just add to the bottom of the pile paper. There you go. A few little stars from the chipboard sheet, the 12 by 12 chipboard. And I just, just a few little details. And for example, if you have a hard time covering these up, do you remember the zoo album that you made, Shanna? Um, she left, this is not a good example. You're going to so talk like, about the lion. Yes. So like this guy, she left the done page, just that, and then just scrapbooked on the back of it. So as you went through the album, the front pages didn't have stuff on them, and then the back pages did. So that's another option. Yes, because if, if you think they're super cute and you don't want to cover them up, then don't. There's the chipboard stars, and then nature's playground from the big cardstock combo combo stickers. And that one I just went across the top, and that was an easy page. Come together real cute. quick. I love that welcome campers banner. Super cute. Love the bobber. Fun. That wraps us up for week three. We are almost done. One more week and then you will be set. So make sure you go check out Shannon's blog and say hi to her. And then leave us a comment if you have any questions and we will see you next week.